Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with a new whip and chat. Um, I am going to be working on JoJo's art, Beautiful Death Colored. But before I get into all of that, if you are new to my channel and you like what you see, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. Also hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I do my next upload here on YouTube. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is still the time for drills and chills, but I wanted to finish up this whip that I have, a uh, beautiful death colored. It is a round, it's uh, 42 by 60 from Diamond Art Club. And I actually pulled this back out because someone had asked me, um, was I diamond painting while I'm working from home? And I said, no, a lot of times I, just color because I didn't figure I had the room. Well, what I ended up doing was taking my little, let's see, my laptop tray. My laptop tray, can you see it? Um, I, I took that and just took uh, my stuff off of it and I used this so I can diamond paint if it's slow at work and my you know phone doesn't ring as much. So I'm using this pen, and this is by uh, Cess Plus, ooh, Cess Plus Bay Latours. I oh, hope I'm saying that right, Bay Latours. So I'm using this diamond painting pen, and I'm using Bella Art Day Nicole, her tray. I'll be using this, and I'm going to be using my, um, Craft mates. I'll be using these. And this is what I kitted this painting up in. I actually like these. This is not too bad. So that's it. And then I'll just be using regular old wax, regular pink wax. No biggie. Um, I did have to add some of my little diamond dots sticky stuff to this because it was starting to lose its stick. See how it's more sticky down here than up here? It was starting to lose its stick, but that's my fault. I wasn't covering it the way I was supposed to. So hopefully I'll be able to go ahead and get this done. So let's get started. Um, Today, I wanted to talk about the five things I wish I knew before I started um, diamond painting. So these are my five things. <laughs> before anybody is like judging me, these are my five things that I wish I knew um, before starting diamond painting. So I'm gonna start from the least, wait, Emma. Hold up. No, I'm going to start from the most important to the least important. Yeah, I'm going to do the most important to the least important. So as you guys know, I started diamond painting um, April of 2020. I had never heard of it before until my daughter brought it to my attention. And then I looked into it, fell in love with it, and haven't looked back. But I do have, um, can y'all see me doing this? I feel like y'all can't see me doing this. Can y'all? <laughs> I feel like um, I have a few things that I kind of wish I would have kind of dug deeper about or kind of knew more about 
before um, I took the craft on. Not that it's an issue or anything, cause it's not, but just a few things. So the first one is of course uh, the artist and them being paid for their artwork. I did not know how important that was when I first started diamond painting. I didn't even realize that was a thing when I first started diamond painting. It wasn't something that I personally uh, heard about. Now, of course, you hear about it all the time, but at that time when I started, I hadn't really heard anything about it. So I was just buying diamond paintings off Amazon, AliExpress. If I liked it, I bought it. Not that I even knew the difference between what was popular or what wasn't popular. That wasn't it for me. I bought um, what I liked. Let me get my tweezers for these ABs. Um, I bought what I liked. So I wasn't really concerned about anything else, but it wasn't a popularity contest for me uh, as far as like, oh, I see a Hannah Lynn or I see a Manny Manzano. Oh, I see a Chuck Pinson on another website. I'm going to buy it that way. That's not my thinking. My thinking was um, I saw something that I liked um, and I would buy it, whether it was... AliExpress, or if it was, um, what is it, Amazon. I don't, I've done a few budget websites, but when I think I got into the more budget websites, I kind of knew more about what to look for. Oh, what is that, like fan sales and stuff? I've ordered from them in the beginning um, I ordered from them, but it wasn't anything where I don't think it was, at least even now, I don't think it was, where it was something, you know, that was an issue with the artist. So basically, I know U.S. laws and laws outside of the uh, United States are different, but we still just want to be careful of what we're purchasing. Uh, so the artist does get paid for their work being turned into another piece of art, which is, oops, the diamond painting. Um, so I would say that would be number one of the things that I kind of wish I knew about before I started. And then number two, I have the expense. Um, I have, did y'all see that? I have spent a lot of money, a lot of money on um, diamond paintings. Um, I don't know. I just have. Even when I'm, I can buy them individually, sometimes uh, it's just that they, I want them more because of the popularity of them. Impulse buying, just impulse buying. You see it, you want it, and then you just have to have it. And then you get it and it's like it stays in your stash for months before you even touch it. Was it really necessary? to get probably not probably not but it ends up being an impulse buy and i don't have um like a hundred diamond paintings because i know i have purchased from some diamond painting shops and the prices are absolutely ridiculous and i just said to myself i'm good i have mine I don't need any more. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm good. It's just too expensive. Um, so I just decided to take a pass on it personally. Um, 
they can cost you a lot of money. So if you're able to use a coupon and uh, and save that way, I suggest you do so. If it's not something that you really, really want that you know you're gonna go ahead and do, I would suggest waiting on it. Um, for me, I keep saying, oh, I'm gonna wait till my stash gets down and then I'll still buy one. Um, like I had Diamond Art Club send me a, what is it? A 20% off coupon today. And I wanna buy, um, what is it called? <gasps> what is it called? Sweet Tooth, I wanna buy Sweet Tooth. Why, why do I want Sweet Tooth? For what? Because it's cute. <laughs> because it's cute that's why i want to get it when i really shouldn't be getting anything but i want it because i got the coupon and i want it so remember people these are my opinions y'all do what y'all want but these are just my opinions um i would say for me number three on my list would be that it is very much so addictive. I think most crafts are addictive. Like when I see these people doing the crocheting on um, TikTok, like they have mountains and mountains and mountains of yarn. So I just think pretty much almost with any craft, it can be addictive. Like my coloring books, ooh, I don't even wanna count them. I have so many coloring books and I have not completed, I mean, like my dollar store ones have been completed, but I literally haven't really completed fully one book. Um, but I buy them, I like them. I mean, I do color in them. I don't want to give any of them away. I really don't. And I keep trying to tell myself not to go back out to Ollie's because they have them so cheap out there. I keep telling myself not to even go back out to Ollie's to um to look, but I wanna go out there and look around. And it's just to see, cause you, Ollie's is like a hit or miss store. Sometimes you'll find something. <laughs> sometimes you find something, sometimes you want. You can see that I don't really use the tweezers. That's the second one that popped out my hand. So yes, it can be very addictive. That's where you get with the, um, once again, the impulse buying, you know, making a purchase that you don't really need, but you just, you know, you just want it. You want to have it. You have to have it. At least that's what I think I have to have it. Um, and what's number four? Where am I? 13 minutes? Okay. Number four, I would say, is burnout. Um, I had never heard of anyone talking about uh, burnout. Um, I have had it. I experienced it this year, and it honestly was with this painting. Um, I was trying to force myself to do it instead of putting it aside. I had never done that before. I've always just started a painting and even if I had to push myself through it, that's what I did. I pushed myself um, through the painting and completed it. And once it was completed, I was like, wow. And I'm telling you, that's how I felt about Plant Witch. Um, I kind of felt like I was pushing myself to, to finish it. So that's how it was with, with this painting here. And then I decided, of course, um, to pull it back out to finish it. And before I did that, 
when I stopped working on Beautiful Death Colored, I started back with my coloring and totally lost my mind. Like I was buying alcohol markers, I was buying crayons, twistables, um, fine tip, oh, extra fine tip, permanent markers, watercolors, you think of it, pastels, I was buying it. And um, I got hooked on the, um, what is it called? Color by the numbers. I got hooked on those and just all types of coloring books. If I saw a book where they did a, a flip through on YouTube, I was, if I liked it, I was buying it. I was on Amazon like every week buying coloring books. Joann's every week buying a, a coloring book. Um, Michael's buying a coloring book. You know, as long as I liked it, I was buying it. And Ollie's, you could get nice books for like two bucks. So I was doing that. And before you knew it, I have a closet full of coloring books. And um, I have all my mediums that I use to color with. And I enjoy it. Now that I really enjoy. And I stopped diamond painting for a little bit. Okay. Um, so yes, I do enjoy the coloring. Um, I actually don't really, um, do too much detail when I'm coloring. I mostly color for myself and what I like. There are some people who color and it looks extremely artistic. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's fine. But I just think I color because it's relaxing. That's why I don't mind doing the color by numbers. Um, I do color my own, um, you know, blank pages also. But I don't know. It's I guess I look at it as it being more for me than anybody else. My books aren't going anywhere. They'll be here with me. So I just color them how I want to do it and it's fine. Do I get other ideas off YouTube and Instagram? Yeah, I do. Do I look up, you know, different color palettes for, um, what is it called? The mandalas that I color? I sure do, but I just color them how I want to. And then that's it. Um, and I think taking a break in between or flipping back and forth, switching back and forth, however you want to call it. The switching back and forth is um, a good thing. At least I think it's a good thing. Um, let's see here. So the last thing that I have on my list that I want to talk to you guys about that I wish I would have known before um, starting diamond painting. And this is just for me and I don't want anyone to be offended. This is just for me. This is how I felt. Even though you guys see me using my fancy pen, my fancy tray, fancy kidding up, I think that accessories are overrated. Um, which you get in the box, which you get is all you need to diamond paint. Um, we all like to have cute stuff. We all like to have nice things, pretty things, you know, have a little extra something, something. There's nothing wrong with that, but it can be a little bit uh, obsessive where um, you have a lot of pens, you have a lot of trays, a lot of wax. Um, a lot of cover minders and I can honestly say I have those things um, not as many as some people but I do have them like I've been wanting to get a uh, what is it a storage container for my ABs now most of you guys know my ABs are in a uh, they're in glass tubes 
and they're in a little wooden tray that's really cute and I got the glass tubes and I got the little wooden tray from the Dollar Tree. So they, uh, even though I had to buy a few packs of the bottles, they came in a pack of four and they are glass. They were just a dollar. And then the little holder that they're in, that little wooden box was only a dollar. But um, I see all these nice boxes on uh, YouTube and Instagram and how nice they are and how pretty they are. And they come with the DMC codes and all this stuff. And I'm like, man, I want one of those so bad. I want one of those so bad. And there's nothing wrong with having it, but I don't need it. I don't need to have it, even though I want one. <laughs> even though I want one. Well, what else have I seen? Like even on my Amazon, on my wish list, I have where I want these um, storage containers and they come in a pack of six and you just open the, the box. The boxes are like this big. They're, oop, they're like so tiny. And um, you just put your drills in them. And I've had it in my wish list. But I haven't bought it because I'm like, Suzette, how many storage containers do you really need? Like, I have so many. I I mean, I use them. I do use them. Like, I use the Harbor Freight. I use them all. But how many do I need? So, I kind of think the accessories can be a little overrated. Well, I support you and purchase something. A lot of times, that's why I have it to support a small business. Um, even if I just buy from you one time, it's just me being supportive of that small shop. But no, I don't need it. Um, no. Sorry, my husband was asking me if anybody fed Yoshi yet. So, yeah. If you guys have your opinion on any of the things that I talked about, or if you have something to add to the list of what you wish you knew before you started diamond painting, um, just leave it in the comment below. Um, it would be interesting to see other people's opinions and what they think. Um, but what's most important is that you do what makes you happy. That is what is most important. Um, I like diamond painting. I like coloring. I like having my own craft room, giving me my own place to go to somewhat get away from everything, it's nice. And I enjoy doing crafts. And can it get a little crazy? Yep, when I poured resin, it got a little crazy. I had so many molds that when we were moving everything from the basement upstairs, I had to get rid of so much stuff. It was just too, too much stuff. And I didn't want to bring all that, um, into my new craft room. I just had a bunch of stuff. Beads, um, just all type of jewelry accessories that you would use to make earrings, bracelets, necklaces, just all types of stuff. It was crazy. So it happens, not just with diamond painting, but with other crafts too. But you guys let me know what you think. Please leave me a comment down at the bottom. If you guys stayed um, all the way to the end, why don't we do a, um, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what kind of emoji I should do. Just do, just leave me a diamond emoji. Leave me a diamond emoji if you stayed all the way to the end. Oh, I had to think of something quick. Sorry, guys. I couldn't think of anything really fast.
but go ahead and leave me a diamond emoji um, if you guys stay all the way to the end. But thank you guys so much for watching. You guys remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed. Bye.